In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily mod your Cyberpunk 2077 in 2023. The first thing you want to do is head on over to Nexus Mods Cyberpunk. I'll leave a link in the description for you. And over there, you can go to Mods and you can browse and then make sure to select the most endorsed to look through. But in this video specifically, we're going to be installing two mods, the Cyber Vehicle Overhaul, which increases the speed of the fast cars. And we're just going to be installing Ragdoll Physics together. It's really easy to do these. The first thing you want to do is whenever you're installing a mod is quickly have a read through what it does. It's important to, to know what you're installing. And then the second thing you want to do is head on over here to requirements to see what does this require. So here you see it needs cyber engine. So hold down control, click on that and it'll open up in a new tab. Now this is an engine within the game that other mods are built upon. So for this to install, we're just going to go to files and we're going to manually download it. So we're going to click slow because I don't have the premium. Then what we're going to do is we're also going to download this mod of the cyber vehicle over here. So we're going to scroll down over here. And we're going to go to manual download. And you see it says, yeah, again, just to remind you, you need this. But since we've downloaded it already, it's okay. We click download. And then the third mod that we're going to be installing is the Ragdoll Physics. This is an essential mod for me as it means the NPCs are not going to buy Lego and Fundo across the map. So we're going to manually download this here as well and slow download. And this is just a quick and efficient way that I like to install mods when I'm testing out if I like them. And for the male versions of V, we are just going to be installing this mod here. I want to go through this with you because this has a specific installation directory, um, which is why it's important to sometimes go over to the posts over here. And here it says that we need to actually drop it inside of our archive folder manually. So for this one, what you want to do is actually go through the images on the types of arms you can get. Now just note you need Gorilla Arms to be able to see it. It's a really cool mod. I've been using this with the, the gold version. It makes your arms look absolutely amazing. So what you want to do over here is find your arms. You can only choose one, you're all gold, which is what I've chosen. So I'm going to download that. So the next thing you want to do is head on over to your Steam. If you're on God Galaxy, open up and then right click on here, go to manage and browse local files. And you're gonna see over here, this is where your Cyberpunk is installed. And in, and modding Cyberpunk is as easy as dragging and dropping. So while I'm here, I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna press N to create a new folder here. And I'm gonna to go to downloads. And in downloads here, I see here are the, here are the, the mods so the first thing you want to install is obviously the cyber engine so we're just going to double click that now i am using winra and uh winra is a free tool that you can use to unzip and open and you see it says bin and you can see there's bin over here this is where cyberpunk is installed and installing mods is as easy as dragging and dropping try not to drag and drop it on the bin because if you do that i'll show you here it's going to create a bin folder within the bin and you it's not going to be installed properly and you're going to be wondering why is this mod not working what you want to do is make sure nothing's selected, drag and drop over here. And for me, you can see it says replace because I already have it installed. And then voila bing, voila bang, easy as pie. The next one we want to install is Ragdoll Physics. So there it says archive and you can see we have an archive folder here anyways. So unselect everything, drag it and drop it. It says it's going to be replacing as I already have this mod installed. And the next mod is the cyber vehicle overhaul and we're just going to literally drag and drop this again and as you saw we needed to manually uh, drop it into the archive folder because initially this one is dropping it in the bin which is not where it needs to be so we're going to go archive pc mod and here you can see it says it's here so we are just going to drag and drop these two into archive pc mods within the cyberpunk folder i'm going to replace these and what we're going to do is we're going to boot up our game and check that the mods are working and we've loaded in and i've specifically chosen to load in here by ripper doc because for these arms to show let me just unequip that let's unequip the shirt as well for these arms to show you need gorilla arms so for gorilla arms what you need to do is you need to go to a ripper doc tell them that you want enhancements or augments and then here you can just uh, get yourself some good old gorilla arms otherwise if i switch it to this You'll see I no longer have the, the arms, so let's make sure that uh, Gorilla Arms are equipped. And now obviously you can see my arms are smashing, they're dashing. Check at this. 
they are pretty slick i absolutely love this mod the other mod that we installed was faster cars so let's floor it here let's see how fast we can actually get before we pretty much almost die i think it works and now we want to test out the ragdoll physics so let's just let's just kindly plant this in his head and he's dead <laughs> let's uh get good old negan over here and thunk. <laughs> And let's let's short circuit this guy. Let's see how that works out for him. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> and that's it. If you would like a video on the mods, the essential mods that I use, do let me know. I'd love to showcase them.